Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So I am trying an individual time trial today. It's 40 kilometers and I'm gonna see how quickly I can do it. So in the cycling world, a 40 kilometer individual time trial is something that the pros do and an average speed, which is considered good, is 40 kilometers an hour. I know I cannot reach that. So my goal for this one is 30 kilometers an hour. So we're at the beginning of the course here. There's a very nice downhill here. And my average speed at the moment is 48.6. And that's because it's been mostly downhill. So that number in this corner up here is going to decrease so quickly. So obviously I'm doing this on public roads. So I'm making sure I'm being safe. I'm not like bombing it around corners or anything like that because I do want to make it home in one piece. So there's a few different things around the screen you can look at. This is the most interesting one. This is the headwind. So this is gonna be showing you whether the wind is helping me or hindering me. So if it's a positive number, that means the headwind is working against me. And if it's a negative number, that means I have a tailwind. Okay, so I'm coming up to the corner onto the main road here. So the roads around here are actually quite quiet. So hopefully I won't be bothered by too many cars. So yeah, let's get into it. So skipped forward a bit, about three kilometers in now. My average speed has dropped down to something more normal. So I'm gonna tell you a bit about the bike I'm riding. This is my 200 pounds Halfords Carrera TDF. It's a very old bike, about 13 years old now. Very heavy, about 12 kilograms. And the gearing is very much designed for going fast on flat roads. So it's definitely not the best for going up hills. And actually, as you can see ahead, we're approaching a traffic light. So it's not great. There's a bit of roadworks here. So obviously I have to stop. It's not ideal at all. So what's gonna happen now is my average speed is going to be brought down because obviously I'm not moving. So it's gonna go down. And on the screen, this is my average speed that includes the time where I've been stopped. However, when I upload it to Strava, it's going to give me an average speed which doesn't take into account these stops. So the average speed on Strava at the end of the ride is going to be higher than the average speed shown on the screen here. Okay, so let's fast forward past this stoplight. So given that my bike is so old, it actually doesn't have a power meter. So to gauge my effort today, I'm using my heart rate and only my heart rate. So you can see it going up now that I'm starting to move again. So my maximum heart rate is around 190. I've never actually seen it get to 190. The highest I've seen is 189. So you can see how hard I'm working by using that. The zone I'm in now is called the threshold zone, and that's the zone which you should be able to hold for about an hour. I'm reckoning this should be about an hour and a half this ride, so if I keep my heart rate around this area, I know I should be okay. But if it goes into the maximum zone, then I know I'm in trouble. I think that starts around 175 beats a minute, so I'm just keeping it quite comfortable here. My speed at the moment is 32, my average speed is 28. So to get to the 30 kilometers an hour average, I need to put some speed in. You can see my elevation gain and elevation loss on the side. So the route I'm doing is a loop, so that means the gain and loss will even out by the end of the ride. So at the moment, my loss is greater than my gain, which means I have more climbing to do than descending. So about eight kilometers in now, and we're approaching the steepest part of this route. I wouldn't call it a big climb, but it's still pretty steep, especially with the gearing I've got. I've got a 52-42 crank set and an 11-226 cassette so it's not ideal it's definitely not the correct gearing for climbing but i'll make the most of it so in order to not lose as much time as possible i really want to put in a lot of effort on the climbs make sure i keep my average speed as high as possible but i don't want to blow myself up either i just want to make sure i keep it consistent but put in quite a bit of effort so let's see how steep it gets here you can see the road pitching upwards over there it's not long at all only like a minute it just does get quite steep at some points about 10 percent so my heart rate is going to start going up quite a lot in a minute because i'm really trying so it's 165 at the moment and by the time i get to the top it'll probably reach around 175 i reckon maybe just skip forward again we're at 20 kilometers which is the halfway point my average speed at this point is 29.2, which is not too bad at all. So the weather today is quite good. 22 degrees, a perfect day for cycling. It is a bit windy, but what can you do? So throughout the first half of the ride, I've done quite well to keep my average speed quite high. 29.2 isn't too bad, but the real difficulty will be in the second half. At the beginning, you have loads of energy and you feel fine. But in the last few kilometers, I'm definitely going to be feeling pretty bad. So let's see if I can actually maintain this average speed. Okay, 30 kilometers in now, only 10 kilometers to go. And I am having a bit of a difficult time here. So there's a long drag uphill. It's about 2%. 
and I've got horrible headwind pushing me back so at the moment I'm trying but I can only go 19 20 kilometers an hour so it's times like this where your average speed is just gonna tank my average speed now is 28.5 1.5 kilometers an hour too slow so I really need to hope that when I turn around and start heading back that the headwind turns into a tailwind and will propel me forward. Right, we're really getting to the business end of things, 35 kilometers in, 5 more kilometers to go and the tailwind is now really helping me. I've got a 10 kilometers an hour tailwind and it is really helping me to go quite fast here. 33 kilometers an hour on a slight uphill so it's not too bad definitely going to help increase my average speed a bit and I also have more descent than climbing left so more downhill means I should be able to go quite fast in this final few kilometers okay 37.6 kilometers 2.5 kilometers to go and I'm still maintaining a really good speed here 39 kilometers an hour slight downhill my average speed is 29 kilometers an hour but that will go up when I upload it to Strava. So I'm very, very close to breaking the 30 kilometer an hour barrier. But then this happens. Ooh. No. So I managed to hit a pothole on this very smooth road, which was pretty unlucky. And my chain just came flying off. So I was going about 40 kilometers an hour, finding a place to stop chain 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 and it's just terrible i have to pull over and <laughs> fix my chain it is very frustrating but <laughs> what can you do really um after this i have a 2.5 kilometer sprint to the finish really so my heart rate's going down here i'm really faffing around with this chain the pressure is immense as you can tell but i do finally finally manage to get it back on and get back onto the ride <laughs> Come on, oh, fuck's sake. So this is where I would have loved to have a power meter because I really just put my foot down here to try and get back up to speed. I was really putting in all the effort just to get back up to where I was before. So what's left is one shallow climb, which is just coming up now. Then there's a descent and then one more small climb as well. So I'm just giving it absolutely everything at the moment. This small climb here is only like two or 3%, but it's those small ones. So I'm literally just trying to give it everything to get to the top of this without losing much speed. There you go, 37 kilometers an hour up this one. And I am really, really putting everything in here. My heart rate is just absolutely spiking. It's over 175, 178, and that is high for me. So. Yeah, let's skip forward to the final kilometer or so and see if I can make it. Right, that's it. 40 kilometers, literally just the final stretch here. And to be honest, I thought I had made this. On my Garmin, on my average speed, it did say 30 kilometers an hour, but when I uploaded it, it went down to 29.9 and I was absolutely raging because I thought I'd succeeded. So yeah, let's see. Let's see my reaction to that. Just about kept the 13 kilometer an hour average covered in oil because I tried to put the chain back on and it took so long. All right, that's it for this one. Just about managed to achieve it. So yeah, see you in the next one. Like and subscribe.